Hey guys, it's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, we are doing a holiday makeup look. And it's this sort of smoky eye with, of course, the red lip. You can't do a holiday look without a red lipstick. And this is actually the look that I wore in my Amanda Claus announcement video, which side note, Shout out to Patricia Sanchez and Natalia Lucas for suggesting the name of the series. I think it's so cute. There was a couple of options, but that's the one that people voted for on Twitter. So shout out to you guys for coming up with that name. So just in case you're new to my channel or you don't know what's going on, I'm having holiday giveaways all month long, every Monday and Friday. So that's what hashtag Amanda Claus means. So if you want to join in on all of the holiday giveaway fun, hit that subscribe button. But, huh. This is a lot of information for an intro, but basically in the announcement video, I was wearing this makeup look. Every single comment was makeup tutorial, makeup tutorial. How did you do your makeup? You guys just went crazy and I did not expect it at all. So I was like, okay, I have to film this tutorial ASAP because it is also one of my favorite holiday makeup looks. Like. I just think it's perfect for the holidays. Without further ado, if you want to see how I got my holiday makeup look, then just keep watching. So I'm going to try to speed through the face because it's pretty similar to what I normally do, but I always start off with my Too Faced Hangover Primer and just a couple pumps in my hand and spread this all over my face. For foundation, I've really been liking doing a more sheer foundation and then covering up where I need it with concealer. So the foundation I've been using is the Makeup Forever Water Blend, which I had mixed reviews of at first, but I've slowly really been liking it. Um, it's water resistant, it lasts pretty much all day, and it's really buildable coverage. I'm applying it with my Real Techniques brush, and then I'm going to go back in with the Beauty Blender after. As usual, I'm using my trusty Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. Usually I'm in the shade Light Neutral, but this one's light warm because it's winter, and I'm super pale right now, so I had to get a shade lighter. I'm gonna, of course, set my under eyes using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, and I'm just using the Beauty Blender for this. So my camera just stopped filming, but all I did was do my brows while I'm waiting for my bake, and I used the Revlon Colorstay Brow Pencil in the shade Dark Brown. I actually really, really like this brow pencil. It's really great, especially for a drugstore brow pencil. It has an awesome shape. It's like angular, so you are able to fill it in if you want a thin line or a thick line. You can just sort of rotate it depending on what you want. Okay, so to set my brows, I'm just using the Anastasia Brow Gel and combing this through. And now we're just about ready to get rid of that bake. I also just take some of that excess powder and spread it on the rest of the face. You guys are probably so tired of hearing me talk about these same products, but why would I fix something that's not broken, right? So I'm just using my Chemicon Sculpting Powder in the shade Medium, and I'm going to sculpt out my cheekbones. Something that I've been doing more recently is contouring this area of my nose, and this is really great for people who have monolids or hooded eyelids. And I just kind of sculpt out this area of my eyes, uh, and this will make it look like my crease is a little bit more set far back. And then, of course, I bring it down onto my nose as well. For bronzer, I'm using the Too Faced Sweethearts Sweet Tea Bronzer. And I'm going... Okay, so this is going to be kind of hard to explain. I'm going from my ear horizontal till about the end of my eye. So I'm not bringing it any farther than that. And this will just give you like a nice halo bronze effect. And then I'm also bringing this onto my forehead. The blush that I'm using is the Revlon Insta Blush in the shade Berry Kiss. This is a really great cream blush and it has a berry tone which I've been very into for the winter time. I'm gonna clean up my contour a little using some powder on the Beauty Blender. My current highlighter obsession right now is the Makeup Forever Pro Light Fusion in the shade number one. This is just so stunning. It's this really nice pinky toned um, highlighter. Shows up on pale skin, which is great for me right now. It's not chunky, it's not super, super metallic. It's more of a glow, which is something that I've been really into recently. We are done with the face now, so I'm just gonna come in a little closer so we can start with the smoky eye. Priming my eyelids using the Urban Decay Primer Potion. This is just the original formula. The eyeshadow palette that I'm gonna be using for today's look is the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. And 
Oh, Too Faced just makes one of my favorite eyeshadow formulas of all time. Like the chocolate bar palette is my ride or die. Like that is the one palette that I would bring with me in a fire. <laughs> this one I got recently and I've been really liking it. It's a little bit different, actually a lot different from the chocolate bar palette, the original one. This is a lot more, oh, this is a lot more cool toned. So it's really great for doing sort of smokier looks for the holidays. To start off, I'm taking this shade Divinity. It's just a matte cream shade and I'm gonna pack this all over my lids just to set that primer that we had on. Now I'm taking a fluffy blending brush and I'm gonna be taking a mix of Pecan Praline which is a cool toned transition color. I love this color. It's really great for cool toned smoky eyes because it's essentially just like a gray. Just a tip for anyone who has monolids or hooded eyes Bring that transition color up over the crease, not in the crease. It just makes your eyes look a, a lot more lifted. So notice I'm like not going right in that socket, I'm going above. To create a nice smoky base, I'm taking an eyeliner. This is just the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeliner in the shade Black Brown. So I'm just going to put this all over my lash line as well as a bit above because we're gonna smoke this out and it's gonna make a nice base for our smoky eye. While I'm at it, I also like to just wing it out the tiniest bit. And for this, I just like kind of flick it out and then use my fingers just to blend it because I don't want it to be too harsh. I'm also just gonna tight line with this just cause we're already here, so we might as well. And then I'm gonna take this little dense definer brush and I'm taking the shade Malted and maybe just a little bit of dark truffle actually. So mix of those two. And I'm gonna smoke out that eyeliner that we just put on. Doesn't have to be perfect because now we're gonna be blending. So I'm taking a little fluffy blending brush and I'm taking the shade Malted. And I'm just gonna be dragging this from the outer corner of my eye and a bit on the inside as well, kind of just above that eyeliner. So I'm going back and forth between Malted and Dark Truffle down here. And I'm just building up that smokiness. Literally smoky eyes just take time and blending and effort and you will get there but we're just gonna be blending this color from the eyeliner upwards. When I'm happy with the smokiness, I'm going back in with my initial blending brush as well as that gray toned pecan praline color and just blending above the crease. For that little extra hit of depth, I'm going into Earl Grey, which is a super unique color. As you can see, it's like a blue toned, almost gunmetal color hard to explain but I'm taking that on like the tiniest little brush and I'm gonna fit my brush like right where the liner starts okay so my eyeshadow is pretty much done but my little trick that I do with all of my smoky eyes I just take any black eyeshadow and I'm gonna use this as eyeliner I'm going to be pressing it into my lashes this is gonna make your lashes look super super voluminous as well as add to that smoky effect and then once you've deposited all of that black eyeshadow you're gonna take the same brush with no additional product like don't dip your brush back in and we're just gonna drag that a bit upwards just to blend everything out even more I feel like you can definitely tell the difference between these two eyes this eyeshadow looks a lot more defined and smoky as you can kind of see there. For the inner part of the eyes, I'm using Cafe Olay, which is a shimmery silverish color, and I'm just placing this on the inner parts. There's kind of like an empty space there. Before we do the lower lash line, I'm gonna highlight my inner corner using a mix of satin sheets and divinity, as well as the brow bone. Highlighting your brow bone is so important for super smoky looks like this because it can tend to look a little muddy. So if you just add a matte shade up right there, it just cleans everything up and makes everything look more clean. So now we're just gonna basically replicate everything we've done on the top on the bottom. So I'm taking Pecan Praline on this little tiny brush and I'm smoking this out. And this is gonna go the furthest down because it is the lighter shade. I'm using that exact same brush and I'm going into Dark Truffle and Malted again and just defining this even more. And then I'm going in with the thinnest brush possible and I'm using Earl Grey again. Um, I know we used black shadow on the top, but I don't wanna put black shadow on the bottom part of my eyelids because that'll look a little too intense, which is why we're just sticking with that Earl Grey color. Actually, I changed my mind and I do wanna add a little bit more intensity on the bottom, so I'm taking that brown liner and I'm um, lining my waterline. 
Okay, so this is the smoky eyeshadow. It took us a while, but we got there. Um, basically, the trick is just to blend, 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 which is why it takes a really long time. But I really, really love this eyeshadow look, especially for the holidays. So we're going to finish off with mascara and lashes. So I'm curling my lashes with the Shu Umura Lash Curler. And then I'm using Better Than Sex on the top by Too Faced. And then L'Oreal Telescopic on the bottom lashes. Because this brush is tiny, so it's just perfect for the little lower lashes. The lashes that I'm using today is the Kiss Blooming Lash in the style Camellias. In the video, I used the Jasmines. But the Camellias are a little bit longer. And I want a little bit more drama today. So that's what I'm going for. Now onto the start of the show, which is the lipstick. And you guys were freaking out over this lip color. Every single comment was just like, what are you wearing on your lips? And it is this, it's the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied Long Wear Lipstick in the shade Lady Balls. And it's like the most stunning, gorgeous holiday red. So perfect for the holidays. Finally, of course, I'm setting everything with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Also, I just wanted to let you guys know that the nail polish that I'm wearing right now is this Revlon Color Stay Gel Envy Nail Polish in the shade 455 Win Big. I am completely obsessed. It's like this pink holographic golden glitter. Okay, there you go. Do you see how like intense and metallic that is? It's kind of hard to see in the camera, but it really does have like a duochrome look to it. It kind of gives you the same vibes as those chrome nails, but you don't have to go to a salon to do it or like rub that powder on it. I'm just obsessed with it and I know a lot of you guys are gonna ask me about it, so I thought I would let you know. It's definitely one of those drugstore gems. It's really great for the holidays. I... <laughs> I just look so in love with this. But yeah, guys, that's it for my classic smoky red lip holiday look. I hope you guys liked it. I know I'm gonna sound like a broken record um, saying this all the time, but do not forget that hashtag Amanda Claus is still going on every Monday and Friday. So stay tuned for that. You guys have been really liking the last video, which is the DIY holiday room decor video, and there's way more to come. Don't forget to subscribe so you can join the fam and join in on all of the Amanda Claus fun. Um, um, but that's pretty much it. So I hope you have an awesome day and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Bye.